Hey everybody, I'm the Crimson Scythe. Welcome back to our Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. Last time, we took out uh, Gary at the Pokemon Tower. We also got our fourth team member, which was uh, Sanji the Hitmonlee. Now, you may be wondering, Hey Crimson, your Pokemon's levels are a bit different. Um, for those of you who have not been tuning in uh, to my community tabs or community posts I've been uploading, I had a, a bit of accident with the uh, save file that I have. So, instead of loading up the save file, I accidentally saved over it on the title screen. Meaning I had to redo um, the whole entire game again. Not from uh, the very beginning, but like as early as like being Brock I had to. Because I was in Peter City based on the other save file I had. Now... Uh, sorry about the whole reset thing going on. I don't know what that's for. I don't know why that's happened. It happened during the uh, montage that I had um, of, well, going through the game. Literally, I, it took me like a few hours to get back to where I am, so... Right. During my time uh, getting back here, I've caught basically a bunch of Pokemon, or evolved some Pokemon. And here's the thing, right? The reason why I did that, I had to get up to 30 Pokemon. I hope that doesn't show up on, uh, on the video. I really hope it doesn't. The reason why I did that was because I wanted to get the item finder, which is a very helpful item, especially for later on in the game, because they can actually help you with uh, hiding uh, hidden items, which could be anywhere, really. Now, uh, I don't have any coins on me. Well, we would, we are going to the, um, we are going to the ga uh, game corner soon. Uh, anyway, but I need to go back here. So many of you might be wondering what I'm going to evolve my Eevee into. We have three choices at the moment because obviously it's other two uh, Gen 2 counterparts do not have their evolutions available until... God damn it. They don't have their ev evolutions available until uh, after the league. I consider I want to use Eevee on my team. I do have... Uh, I, I only have access to... Actually, I really have access to two, because realistically, the Firestone isn't really necessary, uh, unless I wanted to evolve uh, Chili, but, uh, you know, I think we can... We already have Firestone for Chili, so we don't need it. So that leaves us with Vaporeon, which is a water type. Um, uh, not my favourite for Evolution. Uh, it's... It's one of the better ones, it's bulky, it's got a lot of HP. Or we have Jolteon, which is fast and has good special attack. Now, I could go with either one. Both of these uh, evolutions are pretty good. Flareon is terrible, in my opinion. It's really not that good. And the other two it's uh, capable of evolving into are good. Well, one of them in particular. But... I obviously I have access to only two at the moment that I want to use that is. You know what? I get Yeah. Yeah, we're evolving we're going to evolve our EV into a, a Jolteon, basically. That's what I'm doing. Gad with the stairs. Um I'm not gonna evolve it straight away. I might wait a bit. Uh until Say like level 30 or something, I don't know. I I really don't know what to do with that, so So we have Also, yes, uh, I forgot to mention this. During my time of getting all the way back here, Parasect, I nicknamed him Parachad. I don't know why. I just did. I feel like he might not be useful in where we're going to be, so I will put him in the box. So I want to use Fero. Actually, I don't probably, I don't probably don't want to use him either. So, so anyway, I will put both of them in the box for now because this this place really isn't going to be that good for them. 
deposit Pokemon. That leaves us with basically our entire, well, our main team at the moment. So, uh, I don't know if I did this last time, uh, but I did teach him on the Rock Tomb for like any flag types. Because even though we do have access, we could evolve Eevee today. But we don't really, I don't really want to do that yet. Um, so, you know, it's, it's fine. Uh, we go down here. Right. Now, we could... This is the game corner. This is a area where you can get coins, which then can be traded into for uh, items such as TMs, held items, um, and whatnot. There are um, coins hidden around. Yeah, see 100 coins there. There are some around the, the entire place, so you want to be extra careful where you're looking. Uh, pretty sure this one... No, there's not any here. Oh, we see 20 from this guy. See 10 here. Yeah, there's about... I think there's like 12, like, hidden, like, coins. That you can find around here. So you get away from this guy. Uh, and I believe you get some from the fisherman here. Yeah, you get ten. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I've got ten down here. Twenty here. I'm just randomly trying to grab as many as I can. Um, so with that, that leaves us at two hundred coins exactly, which is all right. Um, mostly items, or mostly held items, are a thousand coins, I believe, each, and I believe most of the TMs are like four thousand. So, and you can buy uh, coins as well. I do not want to go into the pack. You can buy coins from this uh, person here. Welcome to the Rocket Game Corner. So you can buy 50 for a thousand uh, Poké Dollars or 500 for 10,000, which... I mean, yeah, you, uh, with my money you can le easily get like uh, four for a thousand coins from that, but I don't want to do that just yet. I want to talk to this guy. I've gotten this poster. Go away or else. We got a Team Rocket Grunt here. They've been around Celadon, and plus a little bit of Saffron as well. A lot of Saffron's been guarded by Team Rocket. So, this is also why I wanted to get him on Lee so far, because normal types are weak against fighting types. And so with that, uh, Sanji can easily take out as many of the Latticates and Rat Rattas they have. They cannot take out Zubat. Actually, no, you can. Here's Rocket what am I saying? So, Hitmodley is, I, I think I mentioned this last time, he is fast and he's got good offense. While Hitmodchan's is a little bit slower but has more defense. There is a move that Hitmodley learns in future generations, I believe it's from generation 4 and onward. Which is the reason why I call him Sanji, I thought he learned it in this generation. However, the name still fits, because, you know. Never mind, uh, okay. Never mind that. Let's go to this poster, we find a switch behind it. Um, yeah, I kinda... On my practice run, I didn't know where I was going. Because I'm not really using a guide, I'm just going off my intuition. But I thought, can I check this poster? And then I checked it, so... Obviously, I know some things, obviously. I there's I have watched Let's Plays. Not all the way through, though, but, like, yeah. I, I want to have, like, a taste of what I know from the beginning, so... And then go on on my own. So, this is the first Team Rocket hideout we are currently in. There's a bunch of Team Rocket grunts all over the place. 
so we want to be careful. Let's battle you. Um, this base can take some time. So we will have a lot of battles to get through. This is kind of like a its own dungeon sort of thing. With a boss at the end. Go for a brick break. Love brick break. Brick break, uh, I believe... I think I mentioned Brick Break a long time ago. Uh, it smashes through Reflect and Light Screen, I believe also Barrier as well. It cannot break through Protect, unfortunately, but uh, that is fine. Never out okay, we can easily take down that. Bang, bang. Pick you out. Okay. Um, let's take out what's down here. Ah, actually, hang on, there might be. I want to put this, uh, as a registered item. Yeah. Yeah. Left, okay. So we get a PP up in that plant down there. I don't know if you can get every hidden item without the item finder. I've tried, and some items just don't appear, so... Uh, we're gonna battle you. This episode might be a short one, because I don't think I'll have a lot of time to record, so... Well, I was saying that we are 12... somehow 12 minutes in. Uh, that... Oh, I probably should have done this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Saji! I... I am terribly sorry. I didn't realise you were that... Pow I knew you were powerful, but I didn't really think you were... I, just a psychic type, okay? Psychic types are strong against... Ooh, I jump kick. Sorry, what was I saying? Um... Psychic types are super effective against fighting types. Uh, they're very, very powerful against them. So, want to keep that in mind. Um, high jump kick. High jump kick. We have regular jump kick, but this one is 85 power, 90% accuracy. Strong jumping knee kick. If it misses, the user is hurt. That does do a lot of damage if it misses. Jump kick, jump kick is uh, less power and takes less damage, I believe. Screw it. High jump kick is a pretty powerful fighting type move. Not the strongest. However, it is a very powerful, uh, very powerful move. If it hits, that is. Alright, Machop will take... Use Dig. Oh, god. So, yeah. So do I do apologize for if things uh actually is let me check something real quick. Okay, everyone's Okay, that's fine. Um Funnily enough, I actually was able to find the first uh growl if I ran into when recatching it was the same as Chili once was. The exact same. Same ability, same Well, I'm like giving it the same moveset. So, uh, same gender. The only thing that's different is, I believe, probably the stats are different, and probably the, uh, uh, well, obviously the level. Let me in! Let me in! No. Okay, fine. I'm sorry about that! <laughs> Just let me... I, I want to get through, okay? You can't blame me. Right, I guess all the, way... the only way we have is down. And more rocket grunts. Hey, Pikachu. 
He's mentioning the self scope, which we've heard about before. Well, that's like a really helpful item uh, in terms of seeing sub uh, creatures. Obviously, I'm not going to mention what they are because, yeah. Also, this place, right? Considering the fact that you have a gym that's like level 29 tops, right? You have a rival battle in Lavender, which is like level 25 tops. You have... You have access to a fine dojo, which is level 37. Granted, that area was not meant to be done... Uh, yet. I should have done that a long time ago. Oh, I should have done that a little bit later on. Uh, after this, and a certain other thing I want to do after it, like, obviously, obviously we got lab, uh, Lavender Town to finish off. Um, we also have, uh, obviously have the rest of this to finish off. We have another place that we need to go to, um, before we go back to Saffron. So... Grimer. I can stay out with Chili. Dig. But yeah, I. It's annoying because I had to. <laughs> Obviously, I don't want to be over leveled for this place, but even still, this place is so under leveled more than anything. Like, I feel like this place should have been done a long time ago. Probably early in the game, not like. This feels like. This feels like you should have done it before. Or just, actually, no, before Lieutenant Surge, and maybe, like, just after Celadon. Like, not Celadon. Uh, Cerulean, that's what I meant. But, it's just, you know, it's, it, this place is so, so under level. Like, level 17, and I'm level 27, right? 28, I mean. Sorry. Uh, but, like, it's... I don't know, I... That's the one thing I can play about Pokemon games is that some levels in certain areas are just not... They don't make sense. Like, if they were, like, the mid-twenties, like, I'd... Honestly, I'd be more inclined to believe that that's what it should be. So... Obviously, we don't really... Well, we have a stuff to do, so... So, we've got these little panels on the ground that have arrows. Ah, uh, I want to go for this one. Okay, yeah. So we've got that, we've got a moonstone. Over there, I believe that's a... I believe that's a... I want to say protein. No XP, dang it. I mean, it was a stat increasing item, so I was on the right kind of margin of what I want. Well, what it was. So, we'll go down here, we're gonna grab this. TM12 Taunt, that's... I actually don't know what that does. I wanna go here. No, okay, okay, okay. I want to go back this way. Wait, no, I can't. Oh, crap. Wait. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's go down this way on this one first. And we get a super potion. That is it could be incredibly helpful. Go this way. Oh boy. Go here. Go down this way. And then we want to go to the top one here. And that'll lead us here. Next to this. To an elevator, but also a staircase. Again, with staircases, I always just. I just... I don't know. Oh, okay. Trudel alert. 
There is a rocket grub we need to beat in order to get something. Obviously, it's an important item, so. Rock two. Speed fell, that doesn't really matter to me because Grime is really slow, anyways. Oh boy, let's minimize. Minimize is a horrible move. Not horrible as in like it's a bad move, it's just really annoying. Minimize raises evasiveness, and for some reason, because it's minimize, it just somehow has to work all the time. I don't know why. Sorry, I'll have to take a drink there. Um, I'm gonna switch into Eevee. I'm gonna. I'm going to. Yeah, I'm gonna. Quick attack. Quick attack again. Quick attack. I'm not gonna use Ivysaur in this area unless I need to. Because Ivysaur is close to a level up, and those of you who are not aware, Ivysaur evolves at level 32, so... I mean, unless... I mean, I could kind of keep him as an Ivysaur for a while. Maybe. There's going to be a point where I have to evolve him, which I feel like will be coming up at some point soon. But, you know. The team Rocket Grant. Let's see what items are around here, because there has to be something. Uh, Iron Fighter? Nope, no response. Okay, that's fine. There is an item up here, though. I'm going to guess... Uh, Great Ball? Hyper Potion. No. Okay, that's fine. I'm trying to guess items, okay? I, look, I... I did do a practice run of this area before. I can't remember everything that's... in here. But I can guess. Okay, I can try. Ratata. Level 19. Looks like we have a high jump kick this time. We landed it, so that's good. And it's one at KO. Nice. And okay, we'll. We'll, uh. Go for the high jump kick again. One hit KO again. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Sanji, you are cooking today. Which makes sense. A bit too much. Okay, we're gonna go. We'll switch out to Eevee. Because I feel like I need to get Eevee and level up at some point today. Uh, come on. Take it out with a quick attack. Level 28. Rattata, we could easily take out that. Rattata. Rattata, yeah, there we go. Okay. Shall we? How much? Okay, I still have 8, well, 80,000, so that's fine. Uh, this room... Is there anything important in this room? I feel like this is just one of those rooms that's really just there for no other reason but because. So we'll go this way. No, down here. Uh, we cannot avoid you. I believe that's actually in a different direction. I want to go. Uh, there is an item on this tile here. Yep, that's a nugget. More money. Ha! Ah. God. Um. So there is an item here I want to grab. A rare candy. That could be really good. Oh, 
stuff. We'll go here. And I believe we want to go this way. Go here. Oh boy, what do I want to do? I think it's this one. It is. Stop meddling and team. Yeah, whatever. Fight. <laughs> Alright, retire. I don't know why I hit rock too, but I did. Sure. I still took it out. <laughs> sure. Uh, drowsy. I do not want to take you. I'll go for chili, because that's... He's got bite. He can bite him. He can bite the drowsy. In KO, though, that's quite interesting. Um, yeah, sorry if this episode's not gonna be that interesting or fun. <laughs> I just wanna. I, I, starting this kind of area off is. So, what happened? I, I don't. I don't know. I. Ooh, I flag. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, that's. Did less than I thought it would. And you go for Tailwhip because you're an idiot. Idiot. Stupid rat cake. Um, chili is. I think it's like. I think it's like three levels away from the le move I want it to learn before I evolve it, so. Hopefully, within the next few episodes, we'll get that done. We got the black glasses. Those are. That's a held item for specifically dark type Pokemon. Which is weird because dark type Pokemon really. Wait, did I? Oh, I missed an item. Okay, I'll go back for it though. That's fine. That's fine. I can go back for it. Got Max Aether. Wait. No, no response. Okay, that's fine. When I'm here, TM49 Snatch. That's really ironic for it to be here. Uh, we got Team Rocket Grunt here. I actually do want to switch. I'll switch Chili out. And you know what? I'm actually going to heal him up real quick. I'm going to heal him with a super potion. So, during my run or like rebound of Pokemon Fire Red, haha, <laughs> I had. I don't know if I've missed any items. I feel like I've gotten everything I was. I think I, that's important, I believe. Let me just check. I have the old Amber, I have the old Rod versus Seeker, SS Ticket, How did you have? Fame Checker, Dome Fossil. Um, what else do I have? I have the Bicycle Coin Case, Iron Finder. Well, the Iron Finder's new, but like, that's. Yeah. So. Okay, Chili. Alright. The elevator doesn't work. Who has the lift key? Mm, great. So this is the Team Rocket Grunt I was mentioning that is important for us to fight. Uh, he will have an item known as the lift key. He will, oh well, when we beat him, he will drop it. And we will make him drop it. Oh no! Well, I think I'd self-destruct. I didn't realise he had it at that level. Right, well that's, uh, hmm. That's a lovely, lovely... That was a lovely start. Attack. Jesus, Eevee. Eevee, you are so powerful. Even as an Eevee. Um, what do I... Oh no, I dropped the lift key. We obtained the lift key. Great. I think after that battle, I'm gonna end it off there. Next time on Pokemon Fire Red, I'm gonna make it through the rest of this um, area, grab the item that I missed out, and well, I think that'll be it for that episode. So, see you guys then.